Hello and welcome to another edition of The Great Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Well, it's another Wednesday, and our topic for today is prayer, and specifically, prayer is not the same thing as magic. Now, a little bit of background on this. There are some magic practitioners who claim that prayer is the same thing as magic, that prayer is a form of magic because people who pray all the time are uh, practi practicing magic they claim, so they claim. And they claim that because prayer, people who pray distinguish themselves from magic practitioners and say that they're not, they're not practicing magic, that they're just praying. So they say it's the same thing, but it's not the same thing. And I have arguments for you today, um, five point, talking points today on why prayer is not the same thing as magic. First, prayer is a humble request of a deity, whereas magic, when it involves a deity, is invocation, as if that deity's powers were your to command. And this is probably the most important point um, as far as prayer and magic being the same thing, because invocation is, is almost like telling a deity what to do only it's commanding their powers as if they were just a power source to be tapped into and used. And as if the, the deity did not have their own mind or their own ability to decide whether or not to grant your request. So what it is, invocation is using the powers of a deity and invoking or or not asking a deity to do something, but commanding them to do something as if they were their powers were yours to command. So that's one of the biggest differences between prayer and magic. And prayer, of course, is a humble request. It's, it's asking, addressing a deity and asking them, whereas invocation does not address the deity at all. It just demands of the deity what you want done and and saying grant me now even saying grant me now is not a request it's demanding of of the deity that you do something so it's it's basically two different things prayer is asking of a deity and pr and praying to them actually asking them to grant your request Whereas invocation is, is using a deity and trying to command them to do what you want them to do. Magic uses props. Prayer doesn't. Here's another important distinction between magic and prayer. Magic uses all sorts of props. There's candles. There's a thames, which are daggers. There's uh, cups and uh, various utensils, various um, equipment that gets used in, in uh, magic. And prayer doesn't use any of these. All you need is yourself to pray. And that's a big advantage of prayer because you don't need anything except yourself to pray to a deity and ask them to grant your request. You don't need anything except yourself. And, of course, I personally pray to goddess. You may pray to another deity, but I pray to goddess. So that is the, another difference between prayer and magic. Magic often calls upon unknown powers. Prayer doesn't. The power behind prayer is known. And here's another distinction between prayer and magic. Oftentimes in magic, you're just commanding the elements or 
or asking some far off power like calling the co corners and and, and all sorts of things where you're just saying what you want and I guess you expect the universe to grant it but you're just saying what you want so you're calling upon unknown powers whereas with prayer the deity is always known that you're addressing you always know when you're addressing goddess that it's the goddess that you're addressing and asking for your prayer to be fulfilled so that's another big difference between magic and prayer that oftentimes the power behind magic is unknown whereas the power behind prayer is known. Magic implies some special powers on the part of the practitioner. Prayer requires no special powers. And some may, people may see this as being in favor of magic when it really isn't because Prayer requires no special powers, and that's an advantage because anyone can pray. Not everyone supposedly can practice magic because magic requires some special skill set, whereas prayer requires no special skill set. You just pray, and you don't need any special skills to pray. So that's an advantage of prayer that you don't need any special qualification to pray. All you need is yourself. And f last but not least, magic is false while prayer is real. There is no such thing as magic. Let's face it, when people think that their spells have come true, it's just pure coincidence. It's just pure chance. Your ch chances of any spell or anything like that coming true are 50-50 because the outcome is unknown. And... Sometimes it's better than 50-50 if it's something that's very likely to have happened. But with prayer, prayer is addressing a real deity, namely the goddess, asking her for your request. So she is known, whereas magic is, a, is phony, it's fake. And the people who practice magic are fooling themselves into thinking they're doing something when they're really not. So, so magic is false. Prayer is real. And that is the conclusion of our list of differences between magic and prayer. Prayer and magic, not the same thing at all. Magic is totally different from prayer. And... Anyone who claims otherwise is just deluding themselves. I'm Sarah Jane Alpha Wolf, and have a terrific week.